for six tonight. OBJ to the Rams. OBJ in L.A. with Sean McVay. That's something I heard from <laughs> uh, a comedian. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. It just matched up so well. So I've been saying that a lot this week. OBJ in L.A. But it's it was a good call, I think. Obviously had a little bit of a stinker of, uh, uh, of you know, initial game. But what were you expecting? The guy just got off the plane basically 48 hours before that. Yeah, I, I think, you know, just in reaction to the first game he played in, you know, Stafford did not play well. And he was – it was clear he was trying to force the ball a little bit, a little bit of forcing to OBJ. And that was kind of – you know, as a Patriots fan, that was my biggest question. If he came to the Patriots, would Mac Jones feel like he had to force the ball – to OBJ, number one, because he's such a, a good talent, do you do you try to do that to really jumpstart your offense? Uh, but number two, he wants the football, and that's not a bad thing, but he will make noise if he doesn't get it. So, you know, Matt Stafford's a veteran quarterback. He's been to Pro Bowls. He'll, I think he'll work this out with, with Odell Beckham Jr. Um, but the fact that earlier in the week, you know, Robert Woods tore his ACL in practice, you know, th- it, the timing there, you know, they were expecting to have this crazy pass happy offense. Now you sign OBJ because you needed to at this point. Before it was a luxury, now you need to. So now for the Rams, you got to ask who's going to be their intermediate route runner. It's not going to be OBJ. He's a deep threat. You know, uh, Cooper Cup likes to go down the field as well. He can run some other routes too. OBJ can be moved around a little bit, but he's still going to be going downfield. So the Rams now need. A player, you know, uh, Higby, their tight end, has got to be more involved. Their running backs, Henderson, Sony Michelle, got to be more involved because they need some receivers to catch the ball in those intermediate and, and short areas to kind of draw the defense up so that OBJ doesn't have two guys on top of him, that isn't, doesn't have bracket coverage. Same thing with Cooper Cup. So losing Robert Woods really hurts this team. It certainly helps to have OBJ so that not everybody's drawn to Cooper Cup. But it's going to be interesting to see, you know, Sean McVay, who we know is a very good offensive mind. It's going to be interesting to see how he adjusts this offense to the personnel that they have going forward. Now that they lose one of the best, probably one of the best sort of intermediate possession receivers in the NFL, Robert Woods. I think if I'm an offensive player, Sean McVay is at the top of my list, along with, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank, but the Saints coach. Uh, what's his Sean name? Payne. Sean Payton, those are the two coaches that I would want to play with, number one, because their offensive mind is just amazing. Through the roof, they're going to put you in a good opportunity to be successful as an offensive player. But like I said, that guy just got off the plane, like basically 48 yeah. hours before. I believe it only really been in at least one practice with Stafford. So the chemistry is just not there yet. Remember, these guys have never played together. So it's just one of those things where Matt Stafford and Cooper Cup built up that chemistry as soon as he got traded, they were starting to build that. So they've had that going for a while. So I still think we've got to give it some time. After this full week of practice, I think you'll see a much better game from OBJ this weekend or Monday night. Or, or they just played on Monday night. So this weekend, I believe you'll see a much better game from OBJ. I don't think you'll see Stafford trying to force the ball to him at this point. I think he was trying to do that in game one because they, they didn't really know much routes. There was not much route combination. They were probably playing a lot of backyard football. And so he was just trying to stick it to him. But in the NFL, you can't do that. You have to have a design concept, and you have to run that concept and beat the defense. So I just think after some practice together and some more built-up uh, you know, uh, collaboration between the two, that right. there will be a lot better of an outcome this weekend, and especially with Sean McVay, that offensive-minded coach, he's going to put OBJ in position to succeed. It does hurt losing Robert Woods. We were yep. all so excited about seeing those three together with Matt Stafford in this offense. So that is a huge loss, one that I think you know people are talking about. But it's it's a devastating loss, I think, because this offense was going to be that much better. An offense that obviously previously lost Cam Akers, their number yep. one running back earlier in the season that we talked about as well. So I just think, like you said, it's lucky that they did sign OBJ. So now everybody just can't double cover and lock down on Cooper Cup. But they're still going to have to find ways to get both of those guys open. Yeah, most definitely. And, and like you mentioned, he's going to have to build a rapport with Matt Stafford. Um, and that's the only way I think they're going to win the Super Bowl now. They don't have, you know, that, that pounding running game without Cam Akers. They can run it a little bit with Henderson. Sony Michelle's been just average, kind of like he was here in New England. So you have to be able to throw the ball. And like I said, Higby's going to have to step up. Running backs going to have to step up. 
you know, Van Jefferson is going to be their third receiver. Now he's going to have to step up and it, it'll be interesting to see how, um, you know, McVay deploys the rest of the offensive weapons with the Rams. Uh, but folks, that's going to do it for topic number six. Moving on to 